Morning guys, this is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. This video, we woke up late to a coin show and uh, we're going to see what happens anyway. So let's get started. Hey guys, this is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. Woke up late, but now we're here at Cowtown. Met uh, a nice young numismatist named Isaiah. Bought some awesome coins. Never count yourself out, even if you wake up late for a coin show. Nobody knows what you know. Let's get started and uh, enjoy the video. How's the coin show been so far, Casey? <laughs> it's been so-so so far. Uh, we think that there's a lot of people at the fun show down in Orlando, so buying is, I don't know about the selling side, but just showing up to bat, trying to make it happen. I'll put them at two for you. You know, it's hard to find two points in Rattlers. Yeah, we've got uh, three or four. We've got this one. Yeah. That's incredible. Hey guys, I'm here with Isaiah. Uh, he's one of our, or one of the people that are young numismatists right now that have just started. Um, what have you been kind of finding at the show, brother? There's all kinds of stuff here. Um, I, I, these guys behind me, I got a pretty cool Morgan dollar. Um, but yeah, like just really good dealers, really good stories behind coins too. So yeah, he he came up to me and he complimented us about the YouTube videos that we make, and he says he enjoys them a lot, just like you guys. Um, and he's actually going to start posting coin videos and kind of posting coin content on Instagram. Uh, what's your Instagram? Nicely underscore numismatics. Heck yeah. Yeah. Follow him on there because he's going to have a lot of great deals coming out. Um, and he's super excited about the hobby like many of you are. And so you guys need to go check him out. Uh, it's so nice to meet you, brother. You too. Thank you. Are you guys enjoying today's video? If you are, please leave a like, uh, comment, something down below because we like to hear from you and subscribe if you're new because we make videos every week and we want you to enjoy them. Show your subscribers some jumping jacks. Further, further. <laughs> hey guys, just made it home from the Cowtown Coin Show. Wanted to show you guys a few coins that we picked up today. Um, as you guys saw, Isaiah is just a really nice guy. It was actually a better show than we thought it was. We woke up late. But let me show you guys a few coins today. This is a 1944S Walking Liberty Half Dollar, graded AU55 by PCGS. The reason why we bought this coin and Casey actually is going to keep this one is because of the kind of the money color that you're seeing right now on the obverse of the coin. You can see that pink 
uh, that green and you can kind of see the terminal going out around the rim there. Um, and the cool thing about this coin is it also has some pretty nice color on the reverse as well. Um, you can kind of see that rainbow uh, above the eagle and it's kind of going around the right side of the rim. Uh, overall a really nice coin. I'm um, just very excited to add something to that circulated walker set. Here's another coin that Casey has in his collection um, and it actually I think is great at AU58. So it's kind of cool to add something like this to his collection. And it's pretty difficult to find walkers with Tony on them sometimes so it's um, a real blessing when you can run into something like this and be offered uh, it. Um, sometimes you have to pay a premium um, but getting up like I said the opportunity is just something that is valuable and important in the space. Um, these things are just known to be hard for toning but it got circulated a little bit um, you know throughout uh, the world and now it's back in a PCGS holder with some pretty cool toning. Up next we want to show you guys this beautiful 1879 CC Morgan Dollar. The reason why we enjoy this coin so much is because we feel it's 100% original. Uh, you could just see by all the kind of meat on the bone as what they would call it. Um, a lot of the details are still intact. Uh, no really harsh chemicals uh, were used in our opinion on this coin. Um, sometimes you get that like white looking uh, coin or it looks like it's been cleaned. Um, this coin is the complete opposite of that. I think it had its life in circulation and apart from that it was taken out of circulation and put in a collection and wasn't tampered with since. So that's something that you should always kind of look out for when you're buying stuff. Uh, no rim dings, nothing like that. Um, so very blessed and fortunate to find stuff like this. It is very hard to find raw and we were offered this coin as soon as it came out of someone's case or came out of their uh, box into their case. So just a phenomenal coin, uh, something that would really fit well in an album. The next coin I want to show you guys is this 1853 um, seated dime with arrows uh, graded AU55 by PCGS. The reason why we bought this coin initially is because it has some pretty nice obverse toning. You can kind of see the subtle rainbow going around the coin, around the stars there, and around the date. Um, you know, uh, we enjoy just that extra added characteristic to a coin uh, rather than just getting kind of a, uh, you know, a blast white coin. So this coin was definitely a blessing to us. And when you flip over the coin, you can kind of see a little bit of blue, a little bit of tan on uh, the reverse. And the coin doesn't look like it has any old cleaning to us. So a pretty original coin, nice color, something that would be great for our online coin shop for you guys to pick up. The coin we would like to show you guys next is another really original coin that also is a Carson City. This is an 1893 CC Morgan Dollar graded VF25 by PCGS. The reason why we bought this coin, like I said, is that it's super original. And when you're taking a look at this video today, you can just see, uh, like we were talking about earlier, there's a lot of meat on the bone. Uh, nothing was really messed with on this coin. Um, and I feel personally that this coin is undergraded. Uh, you guys can look at it yourselves and determine that. But that's just something that I saw. Um, the obverse has kind of some uh, iridescent toning to it when you put it in the right light. And when you flip it over, um, you can kind of see that there actually still is some nice detail on the coin. Um, and, you know, like I said, you can't pass up original coins like this. Um, even sometimes if you have to pay a little bit of a premium. Because someone out there is looking for something that is, you know, of utmost originality like this one. And, uh, you know, another beautiful coin for uh, the coin shop. Here's something that we don't pick up uh, normally. This is an 1879 uh Shield Nickel, uh, graded Proof 65 Cameo by PCGS. Um, I, I like the coin just because uh, it has that designation. It also has that contrast between the details and the fields. Um, you know, and when you're looking at the obverse, I just love the stunning design. Um, it's kind of, uh, you know, not too busy, but also kind of busy as well. It's a, it's a pretty interesting piece. And then when you flip it over, um, you know, there is like kind of a smudge on the reverse a little bit, you know, maybe from it looks almost like a fingerprint or something um, But it's still a pretty unique coin. We just don't mess with this stuff that often So when we get something uh, that comes across like this also in a nice older holder uh, It's just something that we like to uh, pick up and like to research and understand But overall, it's a good learning experience um, Just something that we can get our hands on understand more of the grading process with different designs so, very blessed to be able to run into a shield nickel like this one. The last coin I want to show you guys in today's video is this 1936 Oregon Trail, graded MS66 by a a The reason why we picked this up in specific, uh, I think the guy had like 40 or 50 commemoratives to choose from. We bought this one in specific because of its a a holder. 
as you guys may know, uh, ANA started using these holders, and then when they were actually sold out, uh, these holders were being used by Annex. So there's that two point, there's that you know Gen One holder, which is the ANA holder, and there's that kind of Gen Two holder, which is the Annex holder. Um, and the reason, like I said, that we bought this coin is because it is graded by ANA, and there are people out there looking for it. So as soon as we found this coin, sent it to our buyer, they were instantly impressed and wanted to buy it. So look out for ANA holders because there's going to be someone out there that enjoys these and they're coming. They're actually becoming very collectible. We bought the coin as well because it kind of has an interesting green and tan hue to it on both sides of the coin. But as we look at the obverse, there is kind of that little smudge right where it says states. And you know, that, that's just a part of the coin. That's just something that uh, is interesting about it. Love the design, by the way, you know, they, they made just such interesting commemorative designs that uh, really have gotten my, you know, fancy and really have started to make me try to collect these when I can. Um, but when we take a look at the reverse, you're kind of seeing a little bit of terminal around the bottom of the rim there. I um, mean, you still have that kind of tannish green going throughout the coin. Um, I think this coin may have toned within this holder. I'm not too sure. Um, but like I said, it's a pretty interesting coin and very thankful to be able to share this one and the rest of them with you. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. Comment your thoughts down in the comment section below uh, what you thought of today's video. And uh, subscribe if you're new because we come out with videos every single week and we look forward to hanging out with you.